So here is what the floor looks like. And then down here is what it looks like. And we're gonna get started. What's good YouTube? Today we are doing a bathroom organization because my bathroom is a mess. I got some organization systems in place. So we're gonna transform this bathroom into something. I didn't know that this would feel plastic, but these are the bins I got. These are gonna go underneath the sink and they're stackable. All right, how do we stack these? So you can write on them. Two portable bins, but two movable dry erase for easy marketing. Okay, so they've got these little dividers in them that you can divide it with. Okay, so then see how this maneuver works. So one goes under. Ah, okay, so maybe I need to stack it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna burp my nail. Oh wow, it actually has instructions in it. Yeah, so it says hook it, then you hook the other one, then you slide it in. All right, so it goes like this. What is the, oh, okay, so it's supposed to click at the bottom, clip here. Okay, so it slides. I mean, I don't know why you would want it to slide. Oh, that's just teaching you how to do the divider. So then they said, oh, okay. So then you put the basket in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if I like this because it don't seem like there's no support. I'm gonna look at the picture. So I guess the only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't seem like it's secure. So this is what the instructions look like. At least with the little one, we see how the big one is, is that it slides. I don't think I like that because it doesn't seem like it's secure. Like if I put stuff on the top part, is it gonna fall? And granted, you know, it's on carpet, so maybe if it's on something more stable, but then that also means that you can't use it on carpet. I don't know. We're gonna set it up because I didn't already bought it and I'm past the return, like the Amazon return policy. So these is gonna have to work. Ah, I like that they're woman owned, but dang, I can't even get the, um, they put the claps on they're too tight i cannot get this off well i actually might have to use a knife but let me do this one well i got the knife because i'm pretty sure this was the same way I ain't gonna lie they made these so they know somebody used it i will say that because that is the tightest hole ah, i'm still locked in all right what are you gonna do this one the same way we're gonna see if this one slides as well ah, these things are expensive and cheap at the same time okay so the big ones move as well too i just don't like that my stuff don't need to be moving it's Inside the cart it needs to stay stationary okay so the big ones don't move as much so i guess it's just the little ones move because of how the function is did i do this backwards i definitely did okay this one's right but this one i did backwards okay so i got my systems in place so now we're going to do some organizing those boxes i need to empty that up so here is what the floor looks like and then down here is what it looks like and we're gonna get started Okay, so so to make this easier, I'm going to put the stuff in the bin. I feel like putting it on the floor. I'm gonna just put everything in the bin and then things that I'm gonna like toss or whatever, I'm gonna just put in the corner. Okay, so I had to measure how tall things were before I started putting things in there. This small little bin, this small one, I'm gonna put like all my husband's deodorant and soaps in here. I guess he has a whole bunch of like face wash. I definitely have a love-hate relationship for these little things. I don't know what you're supposed to put in them, but they not, they're not giving what it's supposed to give. I'm just putting all his little stuff that I think that will fit in here. Oh snap, I even found another soap. It's so hard to put stuff in here with the little thingy taking up space. I got this man a shoe kit. Oh no, I didn't get him this. I need a trash bag. I was looking for my brushes and I could never find them. Like this is all kind of like semi-decent stuff. There's an eye mask in here, contacts, tweezers. What is this? This is a face scrubber a beauty blender i have to put that in the top drawer all this makeup is old this is crazy that i'm finding old beauty blender this one don't look good oh my god this is a beauty blender that has never been used it's like been like smushed we're gonna see if we can revive that beauty blender here's some good brushes too hold up now hold up there's some good brushes they just need to be washed you're gonna keep these brushes that is in top bin. a beauty blender cleaner brush holder oh this is a sponge dude this good too i need a bag to put all the trash in put the trash in this bag for right now this man has 
had two pairs. Okay, I don't know who gave us those. Oh, I've been looking for this for the longest. It must have exploded. We're gonna have to wash that. But I found the bag. So we're gonna put all the trash in this bag for right now. Okay, so then, oh, I forgot I had the little dividers. Oh, so let me put the little divider in here. Now, now y'all can't see of this. We're gonna make this work. Okay, I see how you use the dividers. Now you use the dividers for like little things so they don't move. So then the one on top. So I finished one of them. Hopefully it don't fall. So I got everything in there. So I put that in the corner where it was. And then I thought he was an ex-football player. I guess it's supposed to be a football. I thought it was supposed to be a basketball. All right, we're gonna put that there. Also, yeah, this is a mini suitcase. I had got him carry-on items in it. Actually, we might actually get these to Coachella. I gotta find mine. Then add this heavy thing. Ooh, it is heavy. Up in there. Oh my gosh, it actually looks so much better. I need to put these in a little cup. I need to wash these little soaps, but for right now, we're gonna put those down. It looks so good. That drawer is done. So now we got mine to do, even though y'all can't see. Okay, so now we got mines to do. We got like a whole bunch of cleaners. So I think that I wanna put the cleaners or like all cleaning stuff. This is like my blow dryer. Ooh. I got some flaws right here. So this bag honestly just has a blow dryer in here and a little cup I got from Puerto Rico and some contacts. A pair of Corey's contacts actually. I'm gonna put that with his stuff right now. Not a car plug and an Apple thing. So we're gonna take that out. I feel like that'd be a waste of a bin to put the hair dryers in there. If I make a bin just for hair, just follow me for a second because the bag might just be for bags. So let me see if I can. Nope, 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 that'll work because the hair dryer don't Fit. So we're gonna have my hair dryers in here. We're gonna put hair dryers in there. These are razors. Don't know when those will come in handy. So I put the razors in there. This is actually a back scrubber. Oh, that was a face bath that is no good. Oh, wait a minute. I'm throwing away coupons. Let me see if these expire before I just start throwing stuff away. Oh yeah, this is 2019. If you're a Lushy, I have a bag that has my Lush stuff in there. This is my water pick box, which I'm gonna move that there. I'm gonna actually put all boxes right over there. It's in here. Oh, Nah, all this stuff is no good because I don't know how long it's been in here. Oh, my Tom Ford lipstick. I know this is old. Oh yeah, all this stuff is old. This actually hasn't been used, so 12 months. I think I just opened this, so I think this is fine. I don't think this one's been used either. We'll keep those because I don't think they've been used. I remember getting these as a set, but I don't remember using them. Like, yes, this one hasn't been used. Close that box, put that box there. You know what's so crazy? I was looking for my nasal spray. I think these are all no good though. These things say fill 2000. 2017. I'm not gonna throw them away, even though I should, but I'm just not going to. What is this? I don't know what this bag is. We're just gonna put that in there. See, this is why I need to clean it out because I thought we didn't have no wipes, and I'm looking, there's a whole bunch of wipes. Okay, these are my hair rollers. So, like I said, everything hair we're just gonna put in this bag. Boom. Put that in there so we know exactly what that is. Oh, there's a little fancy bag. Oh, this is MAC makeup that you can exchange for something else. This is like hair stuff. These are rollers. I don't know. That one we can take that out. Actually, y'all remember that black bag? Nothing that bag I need. So we're gonna put all the rollers in here. My mom was asking me, did I have any rollers? And I was like, I do, child, but I don't know where they at. So no, I found them. I think that's a good place for those. Here goes another box. And I see some more rollers. Oh, wow. This is actually skincare that I have not used and it's travel size. And I am taking this with me to Coachella. I know this is good. I just bought this not too long ago. Okay, then I got sponges in there, travel cave. Why do I feel like this is so weak? Oh, this is a flat iron. Y'all need a flat iron? Somebody need a flat iron? I will literally ship that to y'all. These are more rollers. This is another cave. Oh, this is some tinsel floss right here. Now I'm gonna put everything in bins. So, yeah. So this is how I organized this side of the bathroom. I put all my extra soaps here and in the bins, I'm gonna put all my skincare and bath. I have a whole bunch of stuff from Lush. So I'm gonna empty out these boxes, put all like the bath stuff in one and then all skincare in the other. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap the soaps up with Saran Wrap. That way I can put it in my bin. I don't have any tins for some of this stuff or like some of it is bath bombs. So, like this is soaps, this is a bath bomb and this is a bath bomb as well. So we're just gonna wrap all these up. All right, I don't think there's anything in that one. Oh my gosh, there's so many. These are like 
the packaging it came with. So I'm gonna just keep those in the little bin just so I know what things are. If some of them are bath bombs, some of them are bubblers, all types of foolishness. Like this one's cute. And before people were like, oh, why do you have so much blush? I used to get the blush kitchen boxes and they would always send bath bombs and I don't really take baths like that. So I just ended up having a whole bunch. Like I have no idea what this is. Like I said, some of them are bubblers and I've got shower gels in here, body conditioners. And this I think is supposed to be like a Christmas scent. Oh, this is a facial cleanser, ooh. That's why I have so many bath bombs and bubblers. And I paused my subscription box because I ended up just having all these like bath products and I don't take baths that often. This is a lot of work to do a bath in my tub. I'm like, let me put it on pause so I can actually use this stuff where I keep getting them and I have all these baths. I, I wish that you could put on there like, hey, I don't want bath bomb. Hey, I don't want bubblers. Okay, so that box is empty. So now, so the bottom bin is gonna be all bath products. The top bin is gonna be like all like face skincare. And then I'm gonna put these stuffs kind of like at the bottom, I think. I feel like that'll make more sense. Depending on how much space I have, I just wanna make it make sense. All right, so I put all my face stuff here. So then we're gonna put the bath bombs on this side. Oh, I guess I could. Oh, snap, yes, I can stack them. Why did that not look level? I'm just gonna put the papers there. This is soap, so this is a body conditioner up there. The perfume. These are face masks. I'm gonna still put these here. Well, hmm. nah, I'm gonna put the face mask there because I'm gonna put a whole bunch of masks here. So actually, probably gonna do it like that. This is all body. I'm gonna put my perfume down here as well too. But actually, what we're gonna do is add another divider here since I'm not gonna need one for the skincare. I can probably even make this a little bit smaller because I think my perfumes is a tad bit big. So we've got soaps there and then we're gonna put perfumes here. Put my perfumes here. That perfume is wrapped because that's my travel perfume. Okay, so body is all done. These are like all my soaps. I put some deodorant, like other miscellaneous things. Here is perfume and I put a sunscreen in here. This is gonna be the skincare one. So I've got some certain cleansers in here. It's gonna be on the top shelf so it's okay if it's stacked. That's a toner that I'm still kind of playing with. Some of my face products that I don't use daily that so it doesn't need to be on the counter. Putting my makeup remover up there. Miscellaneous things to try to clear up as much counter space as I can. So all my skincare's here, bath stuff's here. So now we're gonna load it to here. Oh no, the sunscreen. The sunscreen is too tall, but that's okay. So look, that's so perfect. So obviously that's moving up my thing, but it all pulls out. We'll put that there for right now. But yeah, so I got all that. We've got a good sliding function going on. So now it's time to organize the top part. This organizer to put all my items and then I'm gonna switch things around and put that on the other side. Okay, so now I'm gonna put all the stuff that's here on top of here. So put that in there. Oh, there this in here, this is my tour kit. I'm gonna put that there. Put the contour kit like that. Bam! So it fits in there nice and easy. Got our foundation. And then got that. My toner. Then up here, once I move it, I'm gonna put that one there. For my eyelashes. Here's another skincare product. And then in here, I'm gonna put all my lippies and liners in this drawer. And there, I have two eyeliners in here. Brow pencil. And then I have a lip scrub. Yes, that lip scrub is gonna fit right in there. Close that drawer, push this over. Then this one, we're gonna put contours in here. And all my tarts. And I've got mascara, even though I don't really use mascara like that. And I'm also gonna put this in here. It just fits. So all that fit just fine. My toothpaste can actually go in here. Oh, yep, fits just fine. I'm gonna put that on top. And I have my glasses case, which my glasses case can also fit in here. We'll put it like that for right now. Honestly, these are for my lashes so I can fit right there. I'm moving this because I'm going to put this on the other side. I'm going to use that for my husband's. We're going to move that over there. That CEO glow 
on top. Yeah, I'll probably just stick that in the corner. And then we're gonna move the brushes as well. Put that right there. On this side, my lotions kinda don't fit in this little bin, so I'll probably take this out too. Oh, here's another wand. We'll just add that there. Honestly, I'm just gonna put my lotions here. These are all my hair clips, hair accessories. Put that there. This is a massage bar, which I don't use that often. So actually, ooh, that fits perfectly there. My beauty blender. This is my glasses case, so I'll just actually put that there. I need to wash these brushes, so I haven't washed them, and I actually need to clean this out because this has a lot of soap in here. A lot of soap scum. And then this is like a body lotion, and this is a lip, another lip scrub. I'll put that there. These need to get washed as well. This is my toothbrush head, so we're just gonna stick that there. I'm putting those in the sink so I can wash them. This is my lash brush. I'll just put that there for right now. And these are brushes that needs to get washed. And this is my travel lotion, so I'll stick that there. And we got another cleanser, so we'll just put that in there. My floss. This isn't gonna stay there, so I'll just put my floss in here, and that's there. So now, as you can see, this area is super clean now. It took up so much space, and so then we have to do this side. So now it's time to organize this side. I need to get him a new toothbrush head. That needs to get cleaned as well, so we're just gonna throw that in there. We're gonna put that there. I really did almost drop that. Okay, so, and then his deodorant, his toothbrush is here. I don't know why he has petroleum jelly, but we're just gonna sit that there. This is his contact case. This is moisturizer. He doesn't need this, so I'm gonna probably, oh yeah, there's actually space that down there. Put his contact case on top. What I'm gonna do, because he likes using Q-tips, I'm actually gonna put the Q-tips in here. Add that there. I'll remove these later. This is my water pick. There's no plug on that side, so it kind of just has to stay here. But because I don't want it in his way, I'm gonna eventually get the water pick that's like the handheld one because this one's so large. So it's not in his way. Then I'm also gonna clean the counters too. This is more so of me just placing things so I kind of know where they'll be. Alright, okay, and then his charger will go in there. This is actually my mouth guard on my side. And then, I guess the rest of the Q-tips I'll just organize inside this drawer. Okay, so here is the finished product. Move that over there. And then system number one, system number two, that Lush bag is the stuff I need to return to Lush. And then system number three.